here um, Shana buys a new bicycle and the starting value which is always a key here equals two hundred and fifty nine dollars and ninety nine cents and uh, she knows that next week will be off thirty percent so the sale is equal to thirty percent off not of but off of the original so that means if you have two two hundred fifty nine dollars and ninety nine cents right you take thirty percent of that right or point three times that and subtract it from the original amount so it's two two hundred fifty nine dollars and ninety nine cents minus this number and a quick way to do that is to think oh if you lose uh, if, if your if your new price is 30% of your original the remaining amount must be 70% of what you started with think of something simple like hundred dollars if I said there's a 30% sale you would subtract thirty dollars right and what would remain well you would pay seventy dollars so your finishing price is always going to be seventy percent of the hundred so instead of subtracting like this we can just combine these steps by doing 259.99 times 0.7 or 70 percent but then they say the tax rate is is seven percent so so we're going to add seven percent to this amount right so how do you add seven percent well think back to 100 if you have a hundred dollars and you add seven percent you would add seven right and the new amount would be 107. So when you add 7%, uh, your new value is 107% of your original, right? So that's kind of the reverse of the of the problem of this example here. When you lost $30, you have 70% of your original value. When you gain 7, you have 107% of your original value. So that means we can multiply this, right, by 1.07, which represents 107%. So we have these two steps, 1.07, we can multiply and group it any way. Remember, multiplication is commutative, it can be reversed, and associative, it can be grouped in any way. Times 259.99. Press enter, and what happened? Well, that's our sale price, 194.73251. And they want us this to the nearest cent. So 194.73, so $194.73. All right, thank you.